All right, welcome back, guys. My name is Nick, also on Touch Ninja, and we're once again playing some Metal Gear Solid for the Guns of the Patriots. And uh, it's been a while since I posted this, and I actually lost the footage of me passing the containment facility, so we're gonna have to make do without having that that in the video. But that's not that big of a deal. First thing I want to make sure is put in the Muna. that help with a high altitude, and we're moving on to the next section. Okay. Just trying to remember where the controls are. Okay. Whoa, buddy. Careful. So, I did not enter the area that I wanted to enter, which is kind of unfortunate. That's okay. And when we do this scene, we'll make sure that we get a very special item. And that item is the underbarrel shotgun attachment. Which should be around here somewhere. Oh boy. Careful. There it is. The master key. That's coming. It's gonna come in handy a little bit later during the boss fight with the octopus lady. Snake, the rebels have got an armored dozer. They're probably going to use it to bust their way into the mansion. Give it some cover and it might get you inside the compound. Uh-oh. You okay? Ah! Ah! Need a cutscene to kill here. <laughs> Get smashed! That's what I wanted. Get that LMG. Fire! Jeez. We want to come this way. Naomi's lab is somewhere inside those mansion grounds. Proceed immediately. Infiltrate the place and find out where she is. We're gonna need a saw die here. Keep eye on my surroundings. Where are these guys at? One. The Muna keeps your stress level down caused by the high altitude. If you're wondering. Oh dear. Gotta get inside somehow. But this way to make sure that I get the drop on these foes. Oh! What the? Are you serious? Man. Back. Fire! Get in. Back me up. Okay. Be careful. There's too many of them. Kill them all. Below. Let me Oh no. I missed it. Hold up. Got another one just in case. Did I get them both? Yeah, I got them both. Okay. Go through here. Pick up 
Play boy if we can. <laughs> Down we go. Awesome. Got hit a couple of times there, but that helped to rejuvenate once we get through the cutscene. We got quite the lengthy one coming. Up fairly soon. Compass. The V ring. That's what I want. Oh. Second. Weapons. Customize. It's the bottom mount I want. Master key. Good. And it is equipped with. How do I switch out the... Oh. There we go. Circle. Alright. Need that a little bit later. Alright, here comes the long cutscene. Sit back and enjoy. Then we'll have to make a lot of changes. Yes, that's right. We'll need another go at it. That won't be a problem. Uh-huh. Yes. I've taken care. next test. Naomi. And things on your end? I see. We're on schedule here as well. I know. Me too. <laughs> Until then. <laughs> I knew you'd come. You and I, neither of us can escape our fate. I haven't seen you since Shadow Moses. How long? Ten years? And Dr. Emmerich, is he with you? Why? I thought he'd be the only one able to open the mail I sent. Not many people could recognize 4D sound data in a Soliton radar file. How is the good doctor? Otacon's fine. He's the same as ever. Otacon? 
I see. Who were you just talking to? Liquid. Although I suppose he's really Ocelot, from a medical standpoint. I thought he was here. He's not, at the moment. Where are all the guards? They know I won't escape. I'm powerless to resist. I have no choice but to cooperate. Naomi, what happened in the Middle East? What you saw was the soldiers' emotions run amok. Another product of the system. You don't trust me? I'm not sure yet. And if I answer your question? Let's hear it first. Liquid. We thought the SOP was an ID control system designed primarily to maintain order and control in battle. Huh. And we were right. But only partially. SOP had another function. To control people's senses. The nanomachines inside soldiers' bodies adapt to different conditions, promoting the release of neurotransmitters, hormones, and stimulants, giving them an edge in battle. They can create an artificial combat high by releasing endorphins at the same time a soldier kills an enemy. Or they can suppress hormones to neutralize the soldier's emotions, prevent them from panicking and engaging in friendly fire or needless massacres. It's all controlled by the system's core AI. It artificially controls the soldier's pain, emotion, senses, in other words, the essence of his being. The skyrocketing demands of the war economy have fueled the demand for more soldiers and more fighting. This in turn led to the development of technologies to rapidly improve their combat abilities and control their actions. The system ensures a steady supply of battle-optimized soldiers at a minimum of cost. But you, of all people, must understand, Snake, that unlike combat technique, a soldier's senses can't be taught. They must be earned through experience. Does this have something to do with that test of yours? The goal was to release the soldiers' nanomachines from the system. But we didn't know about the mental control. And the nanomachines went berserk? No. Our test was a success. At least it confirmed our hypothesis at the time. Just as we predicted, the nanomachines stopped functioning, and the PMC soldiers were freed from the grips of the system. But the moment the system stopped, all the pain and fury and sorrow, all the trauma and stress, all the hatred, regret, guilt, all the sensations that had been suppressed were unleashed within their hearts. Their memories, unlike their senses, weren't erased. Each enemy soldier they'd killed, each lost comrade, each threat of violence against the innocent. Every act of war they'd committed was etched firmly in their hearts. In suppressing the user's mind, the nanomachines exact a heavy burden on his heart. The user's body rejects the nanomachines. This reaction must then be suppressed with drugs. Before the user knows it, his mind is in complete shambles. Snake, remember Frank? Frank Yeager, Gray Fox. They twisted his body for their experiments and nullified his broken heart with nanomachines. SOP has taken it even further and applied it to living human beings. The sins of war these soldiers carried inside them returned to assault them in the form of unimaginable shell shock. The meaning in the system may have changed, but the battlefield hasn't. Until that point, war was like a game to them. And then suddenly, reality came crashing down. <laughs>